Okay, this is test pan number five, and again, it's just a single, single bucket full of dirt. I mean, a single shovel full of dirt. One nice little flake, three or four smaller ones. You see that one right there. I'll use my snuffer bottle and get these out. And I think I'm going to set up my homemade high banker right there. Okay, I have my homemade high banker set up. My prospecting buddy Scott. Say hello, Scott. He's got his uh, sluice box set up just on the other side of me there. I'm going to be digging right down here where my shovel's at. I got my mini wash plant up and running. Dump it in, water washes all the sand and gravel off of it, big stuff comes right off the front, little stuff goes down through the sluice. Now, I've had it running for about 10 minutes already, so I'm going to bring the camera over here and show you what I have. Two nice flakes there, several down in here. Let me try to dig, Stimpy, dig. Just like run for us, run. Dig, Stimpy, dig. Dig, Stimpy, dig. 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 Stimpy's a gold dog, sniffing it out, sniffing it out. Hey, look at our little step in. <laughs> I think that's the spot, Scott. Right there. Big step again. Now if you could just teach her to put it in a bucket, we'd be doing good. There's at least 20 or 30 pieces of gold in here already. Down here in the corner there's a nice one. All down through here there's little...
can see as I've been at it, my pile of tailings is growing a little taller. I've been at it about probably 30 minutes of good digging. Stiffy here making sure that I'm doing it right. I got this claim jumper button up against my hole here. <laughs> oh boy, I can hear the attacks now. Actually, I invited him to dig over here. It's an act of charity because I wasn't getting enough over there. No, nah, so that he doesn't think I salt my uh, claim <laughs> here. I'm going to have to come check it out. Scott's getting excited about a picker he's got in his box here. Let's see if we can take a peek. See that picker right there? Yeah. Point, point to it again. I'm too chicken to pick it out. It's walking. Got a picker. Good grady, man. That's, that's big for here in Northern Virginia where we're uh, massive for here. Well, here's where I've been digging. I'm going to attempt to show you what I got in my high banker already. All those little yellow specks, that's all gold. There's some nice ones. That's not quite Felix's, but that's genuine Northern Virginia gold. I'm getting ready to start my cleanup here. my bucket here under my sluice. I end up with you know, one nice pan of dirt there. I'm going to set up over here and pan this down for you and show you what I got for the day. Okay, this time through I will be using a safety pan to pan this down. I'm going to start by using a quarter inch classifier. And I'm going to pour my concentrates in here and just go ahead and classify it down to a quarter inch there's not much bit in there bigger than a quarter inch but there's a little slosh this around and make sure the bucket's nice and clean Get every last little bit of sand out of there 
Now this time I'll look a little more thoroughly for nuggets in my classifier. I hear you laughing over there. He's laughing because he already found a little nugget today. Well, I think nugget. I think quarter-inch nugget, you know. Well, for here, that's a nugget. Yeah. All right, so here's my material. And then this will be my safety pan. I'm going to just put a rock in there to hold it down. Once again, I'm going to really shake it up and get all that stuff going to the bottom. And you see a nice, nice little flake popped up there. A few more here. Just gonna keep working this around slowly and try to wash all the sand off of it. Usually I do this portion of my cleanup at home. And I'm a little more tedious about it. Little piece of lead right there. What an environmental and friendly thing to do, Scott. I'm gonna shake this down to the corner again. And I'm gonna slowly work all the sand out of there. Okay, now I'm starting to see some, a couple of these bigger pieces, if you, if you look at that, that piece of gold, it's a very jagged piece, a lot of these are, you know, lead me to believe that they haven't been rolling around in the creek for, for millions of years, otherwise they'd be smooth and rounded. Yeah, I've just about got all the sand out of there. Of course, I got a little gold floating away too. Again, I'm going to shake this little bit into my safety pan. And I'll take my safety pan and you know clean that up at home. Just to show you what I just to show you what I have for the day. That's what I ended up with. Looks like the biggest piece there. This looks like this little tiny piece is a little thicker than just a flake. Definitely a nice day.